Guys, welcome to the Rolling Odd channel. If it's your first time joining us, my name's Zach. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today I'm making a little bit different of a video. I'm going to kind of go over what I carry on a daily basis. Since I was younger, I've always kind of liked watching EDC videos and people's different reasoning for carrying different things they have and uh, the different products they've decided have worked for them. So I figured I'd go ahead and make my own EDC video. Most of the stuff I carry is deliberate and it's for a reason. And most of the stuff that works for me, I've been using for a long time. And so we're just going to kind of Go over what's worked for me. Let me know in the comments what you think. But anyhow, I'll get right into it. So, this is a fossil wallet. Someone gave this to me. It's not a ridge wallet or anything. It's just a soft leather wallet. I don't like ridge wallets because they tend to dig into my legs and they end up wearing holes in your pockets. Some of these harder wallets. That, and I always like to have a nice place for cash. I like to keep a little bit of cash in my wallet all the time just because I'm doing these marketplace wheeling and dealing type transactions. A lot of older guys, they just want cash, picking up knickknacks and stuff at yard sales, cash. But this is as small as it can be and, and still be able to hold all my stuff. And so I like that real thin. I don't like sitting on a big wallet. So I've had that wallet probably since I was in middle school. And I'm 24 now. Keys. I have a little paracord lanyard on here. Army green. It's starting to turn black because of how much I used it. I don't like a full length lanyard because it ends up getting caught on stuff. I don't like the look of that hanging out of my pocket. I usually just keep the top end of this out of my pocket so I can reach over. Feel for that and I have a pretty good handle on it. I can just pull it out of my pocket. I keep a tile on here, so if I lose my keys, I can always find them with my cell phone. Um, and, and I can beep them. So if, if I lose my keys in a couch cushion or wherever, I can just ping it on my phone and my keys will start beeping, which is nice. And then on top of that, I have this really little pill holder. Smallest one I could find. I keep Advil in here because I get migraine headaches, which is awful. Pretty much puts me out. So I always try to have ibuprofen on me. Oh, and that's another thing I'll mention is I keep four ibuprofen in my wallet. I always try to have ibuprofen on me in my car, pretty much everywhere in case a headache kicks in. So if I don't have my keys, um, riding with my wife, whatever it might be, I have some in my wallet and I always have my wallet on me. So also on my keys, I have key for my wife's car and a key for my truck and that way whatever vehicle I'm getting into uh, I have a key for and then I have these on a clip so I can take a key off hand it to someone someone can borrow my vehicle or I can take a key and, and toss it on here depending on what I'm doing I'm using different keys but um, for the most part these are just the two keys I keep on here because I don't like too much clunking around in my pocket and then I have my name and phone number on here covered up with electrical tape. So that's kind of a theme throughout my stuff also. I usually have my name and my phone number on things in case I leave it somewhere or I lose it. People are able to get a hold of me and get it back to me. And that's saved me more times than I can count really. I've gotten things back that I wouldn't have regularly. So moving on to my cell phone. Um... I'm doing this YouTube stuff now, so I have Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus. I just switched over from Apple recently. Um, I guess your Pixel, your Apple, and your higher-end Samsungs have the best cameras. This is the one I went with because it has the biggest screen and a really nice camera. This Spigen case is the case that I've used on probably my last four phones. I've had this case on my phone since middle school. I like it because it has this kickstand, which I think is nice. It has a little bit of a bevel around the edge, 
so I can lay it on its screen and I'm confident that I'm not scratching my screen up because that screen doesn't contact the table. And then it's a dual layer, so it has hard plastic on the outside and rubber underneath. I dropped my phone hundreds of times and I've never cracked a phone with this case yet. And then inside of my phone always, and this doesn't help if you don't remember it's here, I carry a $20 bill. The number of times I've been somewhere and for some reason I left my wallet, maybe I'm running low on cash, um, it's a cash no, no credit type situation, I have this $20 bill in here and the number of times that I've pulled this out of the back of my phone and used it for something, you wouldn't even believe it. And I've been doing that probably since before I was in high school too. And then on my lock screen, I have my name and phone number. Not my name and phone number, my name and my wife's phone number. Because if I lose my phone and someone calls my phone number, they're just going to end up calling themselves. So there's that. Um, pocket knife. I'm always the guy with the pocket knife in the room. Um, I've gone through a bunch of different pocket knives. Um, and the progression has led me to these three knives. So my favorite knife out of these three is this one it's about 60 bucks and i think 20 bucks for the pocket clip leatherman made in the usa i believe they have a 25 year warranty now but i have my blade which is a nice sturdy blade no serrations i don't like serrations on my knives and then it has a blade lock so i'm not worried about this thing closing on my hand and it's a nice it's a nice beefy lock. You're, you're confident in it when you're doing stuff that it isn't going to end up closing on your fingers. And on top of that, I have a mini screwdriver all. Don't really use the all, but I use the mini screwdriver for stuff all the time. Picking, prying, small screws I run into. Secondly, I have a bottle opener. Nice sturdy bottle opener. It's not like stamped metal. It's nice, substantial, gives me a good feeling. I know I'm probably not going to break it. And I have a Phillips head on here. And it's nice having a full-size Phillips in your pocket. A full-size Phillips head in your pocket at all times because I can always pull this out and get a screw out. And then finally, Leatherman has this. It's a pry tool. So it's a flathead screwdriver, but it has a sharp edge on it. Um, you wouldn't believe the number of times I use this for picking and prying at different things. You can open a paint can lid. This is pretty thick to where I don't have to use my knife blade for a flat head or to pry at things. I know I'm not going to break off the tip of my knife, even though I know that this has a lifetime warranty. And then I have the pocket clip on here because I don't like fishing around in my pocket for my knife. I like to just be able to reach down, feel the clip. I can pull it out of there one-handed when I'm doing stuff. And then I can flip out the blade with my thumb. If my hands are dirty. I can grab the clip and just kind of pull it out. And I'm not wiping sludge all over my pants pockets. And so that's the Leatherman T2. And I got that after this one. This one's the T4. Uh, the T4 is a little bit bigger than the T2, so I carry the T2. This one has scissors, um, has a little file on it, and then it has a pair of tweezers. And I would say out of the scissors, the tweezers, and, and the file, I probably use the tweezers the most. So when I get little metal shards or little splinters, these tweezers are really nice for that type of thing. But I don't use them often enough for me to justify putting something that's probably a third bigger in my pocket. And so then, my third knife I have here, so I usually don't carry this one anymore, is my Victorinox Tinker Small. So this basically has all of the same things this one does with the addition of a toothpick. Um, it has a secondary small blade, which is nice for opening packages and stuff. You don't need to pull out your big knife to do that type of thing. It doesn't have a blade lock on it, and it doesn't quite feel as substantial to me 
as this one. This one just feels good in the hand. I know I'm not going to break it. But another big difference is this is only $20. So if I lose this thing, it's like I can replace it pretty quick and it doesn't really wear a hole in your pocket. And so when I'm wearing khaki pants, black khakis, that type of thing, going to formal events, I'll drop this down into my pocket. I don't really want a pocket clip on. Maybe I don't want people to know I have a knife on me. I'll take this one. And so there's the Tinker Small and there's the Tinker. They're two different sizes. So the Tinker's a little bit bigger than this one. I like the Small. It actually had a belt loop on it at one time. And I actually ground that off of there because I'll, I want to drop this down into my pocket. You could put it on keys if you wanted to. And then this one has a, a little lanyard loop on it also. I guess I'll mention and my intent is to engrave these with my name and number on it too because I end up leaving my pocket knives lay somewhere, lending it to someone, don't remember who I gave it to or who they might have handed it to. I like, like having my phone number on things. So next here I have my palm pepper spray. So I searched around and did a lot of research before I came up with this one. Uh, palm Industries, it stands for peace of mind. Um, it's a U.S. company. You can get this in pretty much whatever color configuration you want. Guys, for some reason, my video cut out there. I don't know. My GoPro is acting up. Anyway, I was talking about this pepper spray. So Palm Industries, you can customize this and get pretty much whatever color you want. You can get it in black. You can get it in gray. A lot of times I'm wearing blue jeans, so I wanted gray. The clip doesn't stand out when I have it next to my knife. Uh, this is very small. And this will pretty much put someone out of the count if you spray it at them. And so I keep that on me most of the time. I obviously don't take it to work or anything like that. Next, I have a Phoenix E12 flashlight. I did a ton of research before I bought this light also. I got it with an REI gift card actually, but these are about 35 bucks or so. I think it has a lifetime warranty also. I don't like to talk too much about warranties because it's really at the discretion of the manufacturer. Although they say it's a lifetime warranty, sometimes it's the lifetime of the product. Sometimes it's a lifetime warranty against manufacturing defects, this, that, and the other thing. So lifetime warranties mean different things to different manufacturers. Just go to the website and check it out. Um, in general, if there's a product that isn't very durable, I'm probably not going to use it because I don't want it breaking on me. And most of this stuff has withstood the test of time and has been working great for me. So just keep that in mind if you want to look at any of this stuff. So the Phoenix flashlight. This takes a single AA battery. I did that very mindfully. I don't want any 18650 cells. Those things are huge. Way bigger than even this canister of pepper spray. I don't want that in my pocket all day. Um, so this is just a AA. Triple A, too small, run out of juice too quickly. This double A lasts me about a month. Didn't always used to carry a flashlight, but right now my job warrants a flashlight where I'm looking into things, uh, dark nooks and crannies to try and figure out what's wrong with stuff. Um, and this thing's gotten full of oil, grease, water, and everything else, and it works perfectly fine. I like the interface on it. So... You turn it on and then you have three brightness modes depending on what I'm doing if it's too bright it reflects off and I'm, I'm squinting trying to see stuff so sometimes I like the dim mode or if I'm walking around I like the high mode I like that throws quite a bit of light I like to see out in front of me um, depending on what I'm doing and I didn't want it to be rechargeable either I like to be able to just take this double A out of here pitch it and throw a new double A in um, no rechargeable because those end up wearing out and then you just need a whole new light. And then also, um, I don't want to take time to recharge it. If I'm doing something, I can just throw the battery in and I'm back rolling. This has a place you can put a little lanyard on it also. I don't use that. I just throw it in my pocket. And then this comes with a removable pocket clip. I put this on there sometimes. I already have enough stuff with a pocket clip really my knife and, and, and the pepper spray. So I just reached down in my pocket for this. Uh, 
and I use this less frequently than the other things, so I don't mind that too much. Headphones. I have a pair of AirPods. I've looked at dozens and dozens of different headphones, gone to Best Buy, tried on all the headphones, that type of thing. There are a lot of nice headphones. I like the size of the case here. I like the fact that when I open this up, automatically connects to my phone. This is an Android phone and it just immediately connects flawlessly. Um, a lot of the other headphones have huge cases where I put this in my pocket and it's like, well, that's not really practical for carrying around. So Apple headphones, I've gone back and forth for a long time on these. Haven't found any better ones. If you know better ones, let me know and get the apples. Don't get the knockoffs because they'll work for a little while, but it certainly is not worth it. All right, next I have my coffee mug. I figured I would throw in my coffee mug and my water bottle because I don't necessarily carry them on my person, but they go with me every day and they're important enough that I figured I would include them on this. So this is the Contigo travel mug. This is a 16 ounce. They make a 16 ounce and a 20 ounce. 20 ounce is a little bit too big. I find that the 16 ounce is the perfect size for me. Um, this has a lifetime warranty. I really like the lid on this thing. So I press the button and it comes open here. It has a lock on it so you can't press the button. I'm comfortable throwing this in a backpack with my laptop or paperwork or whatever. I know that this thing isn't going to spill. Never has, probably never will. Take the lid off. It's really easy to clean inside. Dishwasher safe. I have this sticker I put on here recently too. So, And then I have my name on here covered with electrical tape because I'll leave this all over the place and it's black. It blends in. The number of times I've gotten a phone call, hey Zach, you left your bottle, you left your coffee mug, whatever, laying somewhere. Um, it saved me a lot of money that way. Next, I have my water bottle. 32 ounce hydro flask so they make a 40 ounce that goes up to about here falls out of literally every backpack 32 ounces the right height where it'll stay put and that's perfect keeps my water ice cold I fill it right out of the fridge I don't need any ice so I can put a lot more water in there without having to refill it and for a lid I've had the straw lid the regular lid the lid I landed on is the chug lid and I've, I've been using this bottle two three years now it's actually my second one because I left it at a park before I started putting my name and phone number on things but anyway the straw lid was nicer than the regular wide mouth lid I found I didn't drink as much water as with the chug lid I like having the lid a little bit smaller just because when you're driving or walking or whatever, you can still drink your water without getting a face full of ice or water when you're trying to do stuff. Okay, so I would like to include my watch and my wedding band on top of these. This is the Casio F91W. These are about 15 bucks at Walmart. This is my second one. I like wearing a digital watch because I have a timer on here use the timer all the time. I have an alarm. So if for some reason I don't want to set an alarm on my phone, the beep of my watch is pretty sufficient. I like having the backlight so I can see what time it is in the dark. I look down at my wrist all the time. It's way quicker than pulling out your phone to look at the time. I like how thin this is. I'm always reaching in different areas. I don't like wearing a big clunky watch because it's always bashing off stuff and getting in the way. Um, and just a fun fact, this is the most sold watch in the world, this particular watch. I'll talk about wedding bands. So I have a gold one, but this one's made out of rubber. Like I said, I'm always working with my hands, working on cars, working in places where I'm slipping my fingers in and I don't like getting rings caught on things. I don't like my ring scraping against painted surfaces, coffee mugs, my phone screen, the side of vehicles. Nothing is worse than metal rings clanking along the sides of nice vehicles. So I have this rubber ring. Four for seven dollars. If I lose it or break it, four for seven dollars. Can't beat it. And this is actually my second ring. I've only been married for six months. A lot of people are like looking at people with rubber rings thinking, 
how much do they really do to warrant wearing a rubber ring? And just since I've been wearing this, I've talked to a few different people who've had some interesting stories about wearing a wedding ring and how they almost lost their finger. My old boss wears a white rubber ring. He was climbing down an extension ladder and got his ring caught on the rung of the extension ladder and basically sleeved the skin off his finger. Another guy I was talking to noticed this. He doesn't wear a rubber ring, but he mentioned to me he was a baseball umpire and he was up in a baseball game. Got hit in the knuckles with a baseball. His finger swelled up like a sausage, and he had to go to the ER and get his ring cut off because um, he was going to lose his finger, basically. So that's why I wear a rubber ring. And then finally, I, I didn't put this on the table because I didn't want to crowd things, but I carry this Husky 10-inch pipe wrench. Um, you never know when you're going to run into a fitting you need to change or whatever. I've been carrying this for a few years and there have been a couple times where I've wanted to replace a fitting. So I always keep this in my pocket. Um, this is uh, a pretty lightweight one. I specifically bought the Husky because it's a little lighter than some of your other pipe wrenches. But I keep that in my front right pocket at all times. And then finally I'll talk a little bit about my belt. I like to wear leather belts. Um, if I were to buy a brand new leather belt, I'd probably buy a Hanks belt because they're really nice leather belts, but I thrift shop and I look for leather belts at thrift stores. It's one of my favorite things to do. I think I paid 50 cents for this at a yard sale and I had to put another hole in it, but leather belts are important to me. I don't like any chintzy laminate belts. They always end up falling apart on me. And then I put electrical tape on the buckle because I don't like the buckle jingling around when I, the belt isn't done up but that's just what I do. And then one thing that I don't have on me right now is a handkerchief. I'm pretty sure I carry a Mr. Hankey's handkerchief whenever I carry one. Made in the USA, nice handkerchief. Uh, I use it for wiping my nose. I can use it for a whole bunch of different things. Um, but I only usually carry that in the winter. Maybe I should carry it more often, but I don't. So the way that I put these in my pocket, phone goes in the front left. Uh, you might say, oh, you use your phone all the time. You're right-handed. It would be good to go in for your phone on the right. Well, I tried that for a while, but I like to keep my knife and my pepper spray on my right. And if I'm in some type of situation and I need to get to that really quick, I use my knife a lot and I'm right-handed with my knife. I can come right in here and grab this. I purposely have this clip where I do because it's pretty second nature for me at this point to just reach my thumb in this pocket and pull this out of here. Then my AirPods I keep in my front right, flashlight front right, wallet back left, keys go in my front right, watch goes on my left. And then these come along with. You'll notice I only have my phone in my left and I have a whole bunch of stuff in my right. That is a little bit annoying, but I cannot stand stuff scratching off my phone screen, scratching my camera and everything else. So I keep my phone alone in my pocket. And then also I specifically keep my screen facing toward my leg. My brother one time when I was younger, he had a big crack in his screen. He had his phone in his pocket this way, ran into the corner of a table and cracked his screen. So there's no reason that I can't just keep it in here like this. When you pull it out, your screen's already facing you. There's no reason to put it in this way. And then finally, I have this little bin. I keep where I get ready in the morning. So when I empty my pockets, I methodically empty my pockets into this thing. It's sitting there, I throw on a new pair of pants, I pull everything right out of here. I know where it's going to be at. It's all organized. It's the way I like to do it. I've been using this thing for a few years now, and it's worked out great. So like I said, I've been watching EDC videos for years. Figured it was time for me to contribute to the EDC community, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Regular content to resume soon, so if you're interested in that, subscribe to the channel. Lots of projects coming down the pipeline. And until next time, guys, take care. See you on the next one.